Let's talk about personal protective equipment that is PPE. Well, you need to maintain uh, PPE in good condition uh, each time before you are using them. And of course, you should know how to use them correctly and what is the correct method of donning the particular PPE. And it is also prudent that you should know the limitations of the PPE. Well, now let's talk about head protection. For head protection, there is something called helmets. Well, it protects you from falling objects, crushing, sideways, blows or chemical splashes. All right. So what you are supposed to check with helmet, you need to check the sign of damage, cracks, excessive discolorations. And this should not be exposed to hazardous liquids or solvents. And don't try to paint helmet. All right. And there should not be any design alteration. Say, for example, you <laughs> some genius guy uh, try to drill a hole for ventilation. Now, let's talk about wearing the helmet. Of course, you need to wear the helmet correctly. Then only it is going to serve the purpose. And the inner suspension, have a look here. This is the inner suspension. And it should be fitted and adjusted as, as per your head. And you have to use the chin straps. Have a look. These are the chin straps. You need to use these chin straps. And it should be firmly fastened. Uh, of course, replace if damage or an expiry. Usually, it is uh, five years as per manufacturer's instruction. Now, let's talk about bump caps. Well, do not use bump caps. Instead, you have to use helmets. Now, let's talk about foot protection. And that is, you need to have shoes. And the shoes must cover the foot up to the ankle. Up to the ankle. And it should, uh, you should properly tie the laces. Well, hard steel toe cap and sole should be in good condition. So this is the hard toe cap in this area. And this is the sole that should be in good condition. And of course, uh, these shoes should provide resistance to slipping on oil, chemical and wet surfaces. Now, proper safety shoes should be worn even inside accommodation while working. And if you are working on chemicals, oils or wet areas, then you should have synthetic or rubber safety shoes as shown in this picture. All right. Like this is the cargo hold cleaning and they are wearing the gumboots. Then do not use flip-flops inside accommodation except for bathroom. Well, if you are using sandals, then the sandals should be having proper straps and they should be uh, ankle support. For ankle support, they should be proper straps and do not, uh, that should be used inside accommodation. Now, let's talk about overall boiler suits. Well, the boiler suit should have proper fitting and it should be full sleeves. Don't try to have this half sleeve thing. And uh, they should be preferably made up of cotton and always button up sleeves. Do not use boiler suits which are soiled with paint, solvents, grease or cargo. Now, let's talk about hand protection. That is gloves. According to the nature of tasks to be performed, there will be various types of gloves. So let's talk about leather gloves. Well, leather gloves you are going to use for mooring, chipping, painting, tank entries, etc. Uh, basically, uh, when you are handling the rough and sharp objects. All right. Now let's talk about rubber gloves. That is insulated gloves. If you are working on electrical circuits, or equipment, you can have a look on these rubber gloves. So, especially electrical officer uses them or even anyone who is you going to use electrical circuits or electrical equipment has to use rubber gloves. Then let's talk about synthetic or PVC long sleeved gloves. 
So, if you are handling chemicals, solvents, acids or other hazardous substances that may harm skin. So, you need to cover the arms. So, we need to have long sleeved synthetic or PVC gloves. Then let us talk about leather uh, with long sleeve gantlets. Okay, these are the welding or gas cutting gloves and you can have a look here. Then cotton or woolen gloves, you are going to use them when we are working in cold climate and you can have a look in the picture. All right, heat resistance, oven mittens like handling hot substances. Now let us talk about face and eye protection like safety goggles, visor and hood. So, these are going to prevent damages from foreign bodies, chemicals, infrared and ultraviolet rays or similar hazard. Basically, uh, if you are using contact lenses, avoid using contact lenses in high temperature areas because there is a possibility of melting them and ordinary spectacles are not PPE, just remember that and you got to wear suitable box type goggles like this. These are the box type goggles. All right, do not use hand to shield eyes and face. That is not the replacement of safety goggle. All right, now the chemical splash goggles like this, this is to reduce exposure to various eye hazards uh, that can be impact splash or in the form of dust. Now let us talk about face shield. Well, uh, if you need a protection from facial area like eyes, nose, mouth, etc. from splashes or sprays or spatter of body fluids. And in this diagram, you can have a look on the face shield which is attached with the safety helmet. So let us talk about use of safety eyewear with tinted glasses. Well, eyes are exposed to bright light such as uh, reflection of the surface of calm sea or uh, from ice caps in polar regions or reflection from vessel itself. So in that case, what we have to do, it is better to have gray or brown tints which cause least color distortion. Tints are not darker than 80% absorption, that is the recommendation. And the graduated tint with darkest at the top of lens uh, should be used. Now let us talk about sun blinds or bridge portholes. Well, in the left side picture, this is a roller blind that is actually anti having anti glare film type. Then this is the roller blind which is having cord. This is a cord type. Well, there are other roller blinds also. That is a blackout uh, uh, type which is IMO compliant and there is a choice of colors. Of course, these blinds should be approved and appropriate to the pothole. Then let us talk about ear protection or ear muffs like ear plugs. You can, uh, okay, in this picture, this is uh, ear muff which provides better protection than ear plugs, basically to prevent damage from prolonged and excessive noise levels. What we need to do, we need to identify and mark high noise areas. So have a look, this is high noise area and here this is the symbol which says the hearing protection must be worn. This is for personal awareness. Well, you should also know that don't start sharing uh, or wear the dirty earplugs to prevent ear infection. Then let's define what is high noise area. Well, a person is standing at arm's length from a speaker cannot hear what is spoken in a normal tone. So what we have to do, we need to post caution that hearing protection is required beyond this point or they should be equivalent symbol like this. All right, now let's move on. Buoyancy aids, that is inflatable life jacket. This is used when there is a risk of falling overboard, if you are working oversight, if you are preparing gangway or reading draft or you are embarking, disembarking by gangway and by the ladder at sea 
or sometime even at anchorage using work boards or rafts. So usually there are three inflatable life jackets for working personnel. All right. So it should be certified as for SOLAS and you need to send a show for annual servicing and the life jacket these inflatable life jacket has to be maintained as per manufacturer's instruction in general you need to check the condition of operating or inflation mechanism you need to check water activation pull toggles like this oral tubes etc you need to check all right now let's move to the respiratory protection that is face mask or respirators so actually that prevents from inhaling dust and dangerous gases you need to follow manufacturer's instruction and you need to use only in open area don't use in enclosed spaces now have a look here this is a canister or filter type respirator and it's on tanker and gas carrier it is prohibited by the company and you need to destroy if it is on board and inform office 